The Chinese aircraft carrier Fujian, Type 003, is a monumental leap in China's carrier program and a key symbol of its naval modernization. Here's a detailed breakdown of what makes it so significant. Overview and basic specifications. Name, Fujian, Fujian, named after the coastal province opposite Taiwan. Designation, Type 003. Builder, Jiangnan Shipyard, Shanghai. Launch date, June 17, 2022. Status, as of mid-2024, it is undergoing intensive mooring and sea trials. Its first sea trial began in May 2024. Key features and major advancements. The Fujian represents a generational shift from China's first two carriers, the Liaoning, refitted Soviet era, and the Shandong, a heavily improved derivative. Its most notable features are, one, electromagnetic aircraft launch system, emails. This is the single most important advancement. Unlike the ski jump ramps on the Liaoning and Shandong, emails uses a linear electric motor to catapult aircraft off the deck. Advantages. Heavier payloads. Can launch aircraft with more fuel and heavier ordnance, significantly increasing their strike range and effectiveness. Launch more types of aircraft. Essential for launching heavier, fixed-wing aircraft like the KG-600 Airborne Early Warning and Control, AEWC, plane, which is a force multiplier similar to the US E-2 Hawkeye. Less stress on airframes. A smoother acceleration profile is gentler on aircraft compared to steam catapults. Faster launch rate. Emails can be charged more quickly, allowing for a higher sortie rate. 2. Integrated Electric Propulsion, IEP. The Fujian is conventionally powered, not nuclear, but it features a sophisticated IEP system. This system generates electrical power that is used for both propulsion and the ship's high energy systems, most notably the massive power demands of the emails. This is a complex engineering challenge that only a few nations have mastered. Three, larger and more advanced design. It is significantly larger than its predecessors, with an estimated displacement of over 80,000 tons, compared to 66,000 to 65,000 tons for the first two. This allows for a larger air wing, more hangar space, and greater fuel and ammunition storage. The island superstructure is smaller and more integrated with the deck, freeing up valuable space for aircraft parking and movement. It features advanced phased array radars, likely AESA types, integrated into the superstructure, similar to the U.S. Ford class or the U.K.'s Queen Elizabeth class. Comparison with other carriers. Feature. Liaoning, type 001. Shandong, type 002. Fujian, type 003. U.S. Ford class, Nimitz class for comparison. Launch method. Ski jump. Ski jump. Emails, emails steam on Nimitz. Propulsion, conventional, conventional, conventional IEP, nuclear. Displacement, 60,000 tons, 65,000 tons, 80,000 plus tons, 100,000 tons. Air wing capability, limited by ski jump, limited by ski jump. Full capability, full capability. Key aircraft, J-15, 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 J-35 Stealth, and KG-600, F-35C, F-A-18E-F, and E-2D. Strategic Significance and Implications A Blue Water Navy The Fujian is China's first carrier truly capable of operating a powerful, balanced air wing on par with modern Western carriers. This is a critical step in transitioning the People's Liberation Army Navy, or PLNAN, from a coastal defense force to a global blue water navy. Power projection. With the ability to launch fully loaded AEWC and strike aircraft, a carrier group centered on the Fujian can project power far from China's shores into the Indian Ocean, the Western Pacific, and beyond. Focus on the Taiwan Strait. The naming Fujian is highly symbolic, as the province looks directly towards Taiwan. In any potential Taiwan contingency, the Fujian could provide a formidable, mobile air base to establish air superiority and support amphibious operations. 
Technological prowess. Successfully developing and operating emails places China in a very exclusive club along with the United States and demonstrates a high level of military industrial sophistication. Current status and future outlook. The Fujian is still in the trial period. This process involves testing all its systems, propulsion, sensors, and, most critically, the emails with actual aircraft. It will likely be several years before it is declared fully operational. Looking ahead, the Fujian is not the end goal. It is widely believed that China is already planning its next carrier, the Type 004, which is expected to be nuclear-powered, combining the emails technology of the Fujian with the unlimited range and endurance of nuclear propulsion. This would make it a direct peer to the American Ford class. Conclusion the Fujian is far more than just another carrier. It is the embodiment of China's ambition to become a top-tier naval power. By mastering technologies like emails, China has closed a critical gap with the United States and has built a platform that can serve as the centerpiece of a modern carrier strike group capable of operating anywhere in the world.